this is starting to get like really frustrating for me. Like, I, it it's difficult for me to put into words how much of a waste of time this was. Like, I'm a real big defender over what a lot of Marvel has done. I know there have been some hit and misses in a lot of people's eyes, even in my eyes, but nothing to the extent of the abysmalness of this show. Like, I'm expecting secret invasion to be something huge when it comes to what where we're at right now with the mcu like the marvel cinematic universe is continuing to kind of grow and give us more and heighten up our anticipation and a lot of people have different feelings about things like ant-man and the wasp uh quantumania uh, eternals you know nothing is as good in people's eyes as things like spider-man and doctor strange nothing is as bad as Thor Love and Thunder and nothing is as tremendous as Black Panther. And then you look at you think about the series that are out there now. The series, there's a lot of people that, you know, they love Moon Knight, they hate She-Hulk, they love She-Hulk, they hate Miss Marvel. There's still an enjoyment that you find in all of that. Especially for me. I'm a big fan of understanding that I have to follow along with this entirety th- this entire thing and following the entirety is going to lead to something. And I've said this in previous entries that I've done. You can go and look at my history with uh, stuff that has to do with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm usually quite positive unless we're talking about Thor Love and Thunder. I've shat on probably Thor Love and Thunder the most of anything I've shat on when it comes to Marvel. Because I have my own feelings about what they've done to the Thor character, but I'm not going to digress into that. When I'm thinking about where we are now and looking at something like the last thing we got which was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Amazing. We're about to get the Marvels in, I think, a month or so, and that's supposed to be amazing. And now the show, the last show we had, I found a tremendous amount of enjoyment in She-Hulk. I found it to be enjoyable. I found it to be as enjoyable as Miss Marvel because I understood they were going for this angle of this is meant to be funny. This is meant to be almost not taken as seriously As something like Moon Knight was taken. Or as something as serious as WandaVision or Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Like, you have your seriousness and you have your comedy. And for me, She-Hulk was comedic and that's what I took from it, so I enjoyed it. Fast forward and here we are, start of Phase 5. The very first series in this phase, Secret Invasion. A lot of people got pumped about it. I know I was pumped about it. And it's a slog fest. It is nothing but boring at every turn the only thing it really gives you is it gives you an introduction to amelia clark that's now being put into the mcu and she ain't going anywhere anytime soon unless they kill off her character that's all this show gave you it gave you some random nick fury backstory that didn't necessarily matter to anything it connects to literally nothing unless it's trying to build up a basis of what the scrolls are or what they've been doing this whole time that's it But that could have been done in a 90-minute film. You didn't need this six-episode, four-hour slog of a fucking story that is just boring i could not believe how boring it was one step after the other after the other just nothing was entertaining nothing was gripping and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with nick fury as a character i don't mind building up a character like nick fury because he also deserves his own character development but not like this like this was really bad this was really bad on a lot of levels for me as somebody who is really invested in this and really looking forward to everything else i try to be positive about so much and now i i I don't know what to say i i am speechless with how bad this was this was just one episode after the other of you know kind of some action some decent story like they should have went down the route of almost like the 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 secret agentness of it sort of how they were trying to do with um captain america winter soldier if they went down that route you probably would have gotten a little bit more excited about it if you had any more substantial characters to sort of lean on in a way you probably would have had a little bit more substance to the to the whole thing and you really have nothing you have you know the um, Rhodes in there, Don Cheadle playing uh, 
uh, Colonel Rhodes, who is War Machine, and he never suits up because the whole time he's a fucking scrawl and the actual Rhodes has been kidnapped. How long has he been kidnapped? I don't know. Long enough to make it seem like he didn't even get those brass legs that he has in Endgame. What are we doing here? Like, what are we doing here? Like, are we acknowledging that the scrolls have been around and they're doing all this stuff behind our backs and Nick Fury is running them, but then also messing up something that's continuity inaccurate? Like, was it or was it not Rhodes at the battle for Earth in Endgame? Was he there? Was it him? Was it a scroll? Did he totally miss that? Is he woken up and now he's gone through his own blip, sort of? I'm just, I, I need it to make sense to me, because if people think that Eternals doesn't continually make sense, this really doesn't. This is really just trying to add a story somewhere and make it make sense, and it's almost like how like how they kept making sequels to Saw, and after like the fourth one, just none of it was making any sense, and you're just like, okay, this is no longer about anything that has to do with what we know Saw to be. It's now just trailing way off the rails, and none of it's making actual sense, and we just want to keep making these movies because they're great. That's what this seems like. This seems like we're just going to make this show, call it something that's a huge deal. Secret Invasion in the comics is a big deal, and they shat the bed hardcore with this, for me at least. Maybe there's somebody out there that finds some sort of sense of enjoyment out of what they were trying to do. Maybe they see something in what they were trying to do. All I see is a missed opportunity. All I see is I want to go back to 1997 and I want to watch the friggin' the, the David Hasselhoff, Nick Flurry, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, film. Many people forget that that actually happened. I guarantee you that probably has a, a more solid story than whatever this convoluted convoluted shit pile is that is Secret Invasion. I'm really disappointed with this. And I have not been this disappointed by anything since Thor Love and Thunder. It takes a lot for me to really not like something that the MCU pushes out. Now, again, I said before, I have my feelings about Thor and what the MCU is doing for him. But Nick Fury is a substantial, supportive character having something like this where he is the main focus they should now learn this is slow it needs to do better to be something with more sustenance it needs to be something that you can really like sink your teeth into i felt no connection with anything i cared about literal zero throughout the whole show all i cared about was where it was going I needed it to make sense at some point, and it never does. And of course, it's also one of the few times that I've watched anything Marvel, and they don't have an end credit scene to make it fit somewhere. Where is this going to fit now? Where are we fitting this in to anything that has to do with what, what what's happening moving forward? All they say is this is meant to lead into the Marvels. Fucking how? How is this supposed to lead into the Marvels? What is exactly going to happen that's going to make this make sense when the Marvels rolls around and what they're going to be doing? Is this just meant to make sense of why he got all the scrolls 30 years ago in the first Captain Marvel movie and now that he finally has a way to get them off the planet in some way? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. And it's so... It, make, it gets me so pissed because... This could have been big. This could have been something that was really substantial that you could have easily led into something else. But really, the only thing that Secret Invasion has anything to do with this is literally the idea that Nick Fury is just refusing to get help from anybody. And that's stupid. Like, he knows superheroes. Somebody coming down at the very end to help out would have made perfect sense. Even a recruit of some kind to come down and help out would make some kind of sense. And him doing nothing and just deciding that he's going to do it on his own, he can't hold it on his own unless he's got something backing him up. That's just my opinion. And I and I know that it's not uh, it has nothing to do with Samuel Jackson. It has something to do with the character of Nick Fury. He is always general. General always has his soldiers, just like when they had the the um, the Winter Soldier, where it's Captain America as a superhuman, and he still has Black Widow and Falcon by his side. Makes 
perfect sense. Even though you know Captain America can hold his own, him having these two by his side just as sidekicks makes sense. The only sidekick that that Nick Fury has, he winds up killing in the second episode. And then we just kill that character off completely, and that pisses me off too. And then they try to frame him for it's just it's just nonsense after nonsense, and this just really wasn't good. And now I think my blood pressure is spiking, so I'm I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna leave it off on this note of why would they do this to my boy? Look what they did to my boy, Nick Fury. I mean, I, I don't know if it's ever gonna make sense. I don't know that they're gonna bring back something or make a callback of some kind. I hope something happens eventually that makes some of this make sense because it's really starting to become very difficult for a real Marvel fan to try to praise anything nowadays.